Good evening. Welcome to day 14 of my 14 day challenge. So yes, I've made it all 14 days. There was that one that I did a couple of, well, a few hours late, but I've done all 14 of the videos. I do plan to continue doing my videos. I don't know how regularly they will be, but, uh, cause my to provide valuable content. And I hope that you have found these videos valuable. If you have, um, obviously, any love, any sharing that you want to give me on that, or any messages, because it's just, it's good to know that you're providing people with value. And so today, I was kind of at the last minute thinking about what I wanted to do my video on, and last week we got to meet an author. If you've ever read the Hank the Cowdog series, we got to meet John Erickson, and he, it was amazing. Um, I'm not really sure how much away from his talk, but I know that I made notes and felt inspired by what he had and felt inspired to start writing again. Um, I have a blog and a lot that's where I have done my writing in the past. Um, and then I kind of transitioned to videos and, uh, so I do want to get back into writing again. And so some of his words really struck a chord with me, and I wanted to share those things that I took notes on with you guys um, tonight. So these are my top three that I made, like I made a whole new note in my phone just for these three things, because I wanted to share them with you. Number one, the creative process is often just as mysterious to the artist as it is to the audience. I would say this probably applies to any art, not just writing. Um, but I don't know that because I'm not an artist in other ways. I'm, I love words and I love, uh, making them flow together in just the right way to where they make, um, impact. So even when I write out a blog or even when I'm doing these videos, I don't always know where it's going to end up as I'm writing. Uh, sometimes the direction ends up surprising even me. And being closely related to that is number two. The subject chooses the writer. So if you followed any of my videos or ever read my blog, you quickly see a few themes that reverberate throughout my content. content. The first is that there is a foundation of faith woven within every post. Next, you'll see words like connection, overcoming, and influence. Finally, you'll hear stories, whether they're my own, from my family, from my friends. The stories demonstrate the power of those themes within my family. And number three, finally, the writer passed on the advice that his mother gave him at the age of five. God has given you a talent. You must guard it and use it wisely. So no matter what talent you have, you can either use them or bury them. Uh, but who benefits if you lose? And who loses if you don't win? Why settle for blending in if your story and your talent is the one that can inspire someone else? Why be obscure in your efforts when you can make an obvious impact? In 1839, Edward bulwer lytton wrote that the pen is mightier than the sword. Um, it's also been a while since I've thrown a Doctor Who quote in here. But I was thinking about, you know, the pen being the sword, and I thought, didn't he say something about a weapon with words? And it's books, the best weapon in the world, arm yourself. Words hold power. Sharing stories creates connection. And maybe what you need to say will be the magic words that change another person's life. If we're all just stories, we need to share in such a way that we can make tidal waves of ripples. So I hope you have found so valuable um, as well as the past ones. I do also have 10 more reasons why you should